The ancient Egyptians consulted the heavens to tell them when to plant and when to harvest. Every star possessed a sacred meaning. They called Sirius in the constellation Canis Major the star of Isis. Sirius's appearance before dawn during the summer solstice forecasted the annual rise of the Nile River. Other constellations, like Orion, might have had a certain architectural significance. Egyptologists have often asked the question, why did the ancient Egyptians build three great pyramids that are slightly misaligned? Did they have bad ruler sticks thousands of years ago? The three pyramids seem to be aligned to the three constellation stars of Orion. What does this alignment mean? Was it a coincidence? Or were the pyramids intentionally engineered this way? The pyramids of Giza seduce us with archaeological mystery and historical intrigue. Some scientists think the pyramids have a certain astronomical importance. It has been claimed that the layout of the three major pyramids on the Giza Plateau, including the Great Pyramid, are set on the ground to mimic the three stars in Orion's belt. It's one of my favorite connections between events on Earth and events in the sky. But the ancient Egyptians didn't see a hunter in Orion like we do. They saw Osiris, god of rebirth. Some speculate that air shafts within the Great Pyramids were specifically designed to catapult the souls of pharaohs to the heavens. In those pyramids, we have two different shafts, and those shafts, one points north, one points south. The south shaft points toward Orion. So the soul of the pharaoh would be launched through that shaft in order to be connected to Osiris, Orion, and be resurrected again, enjoying eternal life. But others are a bit more skeptical. In order to make it match correctly, you have to flip it upside down on the ground or in the sky. That the Egyptians did place an importance on north and on south in the pyramid. And it doesn't make any sense to say, well, yes, they lined the stars up right, but then when it came to mapping on the ground, it was perfectly okay to flip everything around and make it upside down. The north shaft points toward one specific star. The one pointing north points to the pole star at the time, 2,000 years before Christ, 2,000 BC, 3,000 BC, and that pole star was Thuban. Thuban is located in the constellation Draco, or the dragon. Draco has 79 visible stars. Thuban has been replaced by our generation's pole star, Polaris. Polaris illuminates the Arctic, governing our sky as a beacon over the North Pole. <laughs>